It's important to recognize the successes, the people who've taken risk. So I'm very happy that Sam Purden is involved in this. Legacy of academic excellence, compassion, and service. So how much would you pay to drill your professor in the face with a pie? The Brock School of Business holding their annual Pie Your Professor is for charity, and that's a good thing. You don't want your professors holding grudges before finals. And what's better than pie? How about some cake? Chocolate, vanilla, we have both. We celebrated Ralph Waldo Beeson's birthday, one of the most generous men to Samford University. Everywhere you turn, you can see Mr. Beeson's contributions to this campus. And I'm willing to bet if you've ever visited campus, you sat right here and had a picture taken with him. I'm Brad Radisi, and you're watching the Sanford Chronicle. And I know Mr. Beeson would be very proud of this news right here. Kiplinger's personal finance magazine ranks us as one of the nation's best values, coming in at 64th on their top 100 list. Kiplinger rates schools on cost and financial aid, competitiveness, graduate rates, and academic support. It was Sanford strong in all these areas, it shows the value of a Samford education. We want to maintain a lower tuition so that all students have an opportunity to afford Samford. And we want to honor those students that, that uh, have high achievements in the academics uh, in, their, in their high school work. And as you know, academics are at the forefront of what we do here at Samford. That's why you'll find some of the most accomplished speakers making stops right here on campus. Dr. Ann McKee was our featured guest for this year's J. Roderick Davis Lecture. You may have seen her work in Sports Illustrated or in the documentary Frontline. She specializes in head trauma, concussions in sports. Uh, it isn't just the professional athlete, it's, it's the college and the high school athlete. We just have to be smarter about the way we let our kids play sports. We have to be thinking about, you know, the long-term health consequences. And having your head injured, even mildly, uh, for a long time or you know with a lot of exposure can lead to some really uh, severe consequences. The Holly Hall lectures welcomed religion historian Randall Balmer. He talked politics, namely a pivotal time in history when then Governor Jimmy Carter in 1972 proclaimed above all he was a Christian. His beliefs rallied evangelicals and it led him to becoming the 39th president of the United States. And speaking of religion, John Holt, the noted author and speaker of the Woodstock Theological Center at Georgetown University, was a guest of Samford's Center for Science and Religion, a program he gives high acclaim to. The whole discussion in our country and around the world of science and faith can have only a felicitous, a happy result if people take, take it seriously. And so I'm very happy that Samford is involved in this. Get involved. That was the message during a two-day initiative on campus called Go Global. Special guest Jeff Lewis, a professor of intercultural studies and director of the Global Center at California Baptist University, made the message pretty simple for missions work around the planet, saying as a follower of Jesus Christ, you are to engage the world every day and live as sent agents of the Lord. And many times our nation's armed forces serve as global protectors. And here at Samford, we're home to an Air Force ROTC detachment. And they welcomed three-star Lieutenant General David Fadok from Maxwell Air Force Base right here in Alabama. General Fadok mentions leaders and leadership as keys to success. Some of that groundwork, it's laid right here at Samford. It's vitally important. Um, and uh, one unique aspect of this program from a leadership standpoint is in many respects, it's, it's pure leadership. And there's probably nothing more challenging than leading amongst your, uh, your your peers. And we give them multiple opportunities to, uh, to do that. And I think we'd all agree it takes courage to serve your country, but it also takes courage to devote yourself to the care of others. And the Ida V. Moffitt School of Nursing recognized some of their best. At the Courage to Care Awards Gala, 17 Moffitt alumni were honored for their devotion to the nursing profession, including this year's Living Legacy Award winner, Francis Mellett Robinson. 
These alums represent the philosophy and values of Ida Vines Moffitt through her legacy of academic excellence, care, compassion, and service. Every nurse that I know that has graduated from Ida B. Moffitt has gone out and just done incredible, wonderful, um, caring things in, with their career. And congratulations to Dr. Nina Sanders, the nursing school dean and vice provost is now a proud member of the Alabama Nursing Hall of Fame. Inductions, they were held October the 10th. And hey, let's keep giving the honors. The Birmingham Business Journal and the Brock School of Business hosted and recognized Birmingham's top 15 entrepreneurs of 2013. We very much value the partnership with the Birmingham Business Journal, and it's important to recognize the successes out there, uh, the people who've taken risk, the people who've sacrificed to bring new ideas and products to the market. I think uh, Stanford is a jewel for uh, Birmingham. Uh, they have a great entrepreneur program, and so it just makes sense from a, a collaboration standpoint that the business newspaper would partner with an institution that has an entrepreneurial program. So it just makes a lot of sense, a lot of synergy going back and forth. And Sanford's entrepreneurship program has been recognized as one of the nation's top risers. And we'll soon expect the same great things from a new program out of the School of the Arts. It's called Anima. It's Sanford's new forum for worship and the arts. Director Eric Mathis says Anima is extremely unique. No institution in the Southeast is engaging worship and the arts at the level of anima. We're one of few institutions, um, Christian institutions and Baptist institutions at that, with the School of the Arts, where all of the arts are housed together in kind of one place. Um, and so that really enables us to broaden the conversation with worship, not only um, with music, but worship in all of the arts. And also in October, Cumberland School of Law celebrated Pro Bono Week by hosting several free legal clinics. Lawyers and law students volunteering their time to help people who need legal advice. So it goes without saying, there is lots happening here at Sanford University. For all the latest, head to Sanford.edu. You can also find us on social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest. Till next time, I'm Brad Radisi, and you've been watching The Sanford Chronicle.